The first thing you want to do is download the .dmg file from the Patreon link. Currently I am downloading the latest nightly build from the JNOZSC's GitHub releases because this is the latest version of MPV currently available for Macs. However, we will update the link if a new version is released so your download location may differ to mine. Then you want to open downloads and double click the DMG file. This will open up a new window where you can then drag MPV into your applications folder. Now you should attempt to start MPV and you will notice that it will fail to start because it is not from an Apple verified developer so you then want to press the cancel button and navigate to your settings window. Then click security and privacy and in the bottom of the general tab you want to click open anyway. And when the warning comes up go ahead and choose open. Your Mac will save the setting for MPV and you will not have to select to allow the application again. The last thing you want to do is navigate to your downloads folder and at the same time press command and the up arrow key. This will take you up one directory to your users directory. Then you want to press command shift period to display all hidden folders. Once you can see all the folders, find and navigate to the folder called .mpv. In this folder you want to create a new folder called scripts and then you want to open that folder. Now you are ready to install Migaku MPV. Once you have downloaded the zip file you should move it into the scripts file and then double click the zip file to extract it. Once you have extracted the zip file's contents, you can go ahead and delete that zip file, only leaving the Migaku MPV folder in the scripts folder. Now I'm going to help you solve all of the permission issues you will run across when trying to use Migaku MPV. Migaku MPV is safe software but is currently not registered with Apple and therefore needs to be added to an exceptions list in order to run correctly. We will be registering Migaku MPV with Apple at some point in the future once we've reached more of our development goals with it. Once you have watched the rest of this video to solve these permission issues, you will still need to watch the beginning part of the user's guide in order to make sure that Migaku MPV will work correctly with Migaku Dictionary Plus and the Immerse with Migaku browser extension. So make sure you check that out as well after this video. Lastly, I will mention now that there is also a way to override all of the permission issues you will run across with one simple command. But that this command is not recommended because it is a blanket allowance to allow the execution of any software on your system. So I will add how to do that to the end of this video, but I only recommend advanced users to use that option. After installing Migaku MPV, go ahead and launch MPV Player again and you will see another permissions issue come up. You want to once again press cancel, close MPV, and then go into your security settings again and click to allow Migaku MPV. Then relaunch MPV and click open in the new alert. Then go ahead and restart MPV one more time. You may get a message on MPV player saying the Migaku plugin shut down, but you can safely ignore this message and it will disappear after a few moments. Migaku MPV will still function normally and the issue with this message will be removed in a future version. You can then load a video and subtitle file into MPV and press the B button to bring up Chrome and see that Migaku MPV is functioning normally. If pressing the B button does not successfully open Chrome, then please see the configuring Migaku MPV section of the user's guide for instructions on designating Chrome as the browser to be used with Migaku MPV. If your configuration is correct, then all base functionality should now function normally at this point. However, there are a lot more permission issues that will occur when trying to use the automatic subtitle retiming feature. The process of overriding all of these permissions may take a few minutes. 
but please be patient and rest assured that you should only need to do this once. So what you want to do is go ahead and press Shift B to open the retiming menu. Then go ahead and select the audio track and press the enter key. You'll then notice more permission issues that come up. Once again, like last time, press cancel and then in your security windows, press to allow the process. You will not need to close MPV in order to do this. So I recommend moving the security window close to where the warning pop-up happens to make the process considerably faster, as there are about 40 to 50 different permission settings that will need to be granted. The basic process is to always press cancel and then go into your security settings and click to allow the process before clicking any buttons on the next warning window that pops up. If the warning window has an open button, however, then you want to always press that button. Once there are no more warning windows, then you should once again press Shift B and then press Enter on the audio track and repeat the process until pressing Enter produces no more warning windows. When you are granting access to the last few windows, your MPV player instance may also close, so don't be alarmed if it does. You can then reopen MPV and once again press Shift B and press Enter on the audio track option. This time you should notice that a new subtitle file will be added to your video and subtitle folder, signifying that the process has completed successfully and generated the automatically timed subtitles. Everything should function normally now. Let us know on Discord if you are having any issues. Like I said before, there is also the option to blanket grant permissions to all executables on your system. Now this is a much faster alternative than granting individual allowances, but I don't recommend it except for advanced users. In order to do this though, simply open a terminal window and paste in the command from the description. Then type your password and press enter. Migaku MPV and MPV players should run normally without needing to grant permissions to each individual process. This concludes the Mac installation guide. Go back to the user guide video and find a timestamp about configuring MPV to continue learning the ins and outs of Migaku MPV. Lastly, we plan to improve Migaku MPV's feature set, installation process, and user experience in the future. But we really appreciate your help in testing and hope that you find value in this early build.